We've invited you to participate, or at least to observe, our dinosaur excavations in process in northwestern Colorado on private property. The Creation Evidence Museum of Texas owns all the dinosaur bones in this knoll. And to this point, over these 23 years, we've discovered and extracted components of 15 different dinosaurs from this site, from Allosaurus all the way through Stegosaurus. And the Stegosaurus makes a little history. This is Jurassic formation. Uh, those of you familiar with paleontological or geological literature will recognize the escarpment of the red beds in the background. And we have the 10 degree angle for the excavation tilt. These bones are thrown into a log jam at a 10 degree tilt against a 45 degree escarpment background. Now that's quite important. It is Jurassic by definition, by assignment. But two years ago, we discovered the skull of a juvenile Triceratops. We're now excavating the rest of this little fellow. The Triceratops was built like a bulldog, the bulldog of the dinosaurs, to barge through anything stocky, strong, heavy bones. Now, according to standard evolutionary theory, the layers in which we're working are assigned 140 million years in age. But according to evolutionary theory, the Triceratops did not appear until 65 million years later. Well, a real problem for evolutionary theory. And the problem is this. Actually, those ages are simply assigned. And while we do have a tendency for particular dinosaurs, like other fossilized creatures, to be preserved among their kind, but almost always in a logjam context and quick sedimentary burial, we actually witness here not the long evolutionary ages, but instead the epochs of a single year of a worldwide flood. Now that is not simply a religious preoccupation. The ground and the layering, the fossil beds in which I am standing, extend for 11 states and into Canada. They're directly adjacent to other layers a bit higher in the Cretaceous formation that actually extend worldwide. And all of these are sedimentary and interlaced with polystrate fossils. So what we're really witnessing here is evidence of the worldwide flood of Noah's day. Welcome to the dig.